Hey guys, Fabrizio Romano here. I wanted to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video on this channel, OneFootball. You can find out more about OneFootball by clicking the link in the description and download the app for free. And trust me, it's definitely worth it. If you haven't tried OneFootball, definitely give it a try. Get updated on the latest in football, transfer news, live notifications, injury updates, and follow your favorite team and players. I've been using this app for years to check the results from all the football games each week and I absolutely love it. It's fantastic. So if you want to get the best news and notifications from football, apart from my YouTube channel of course, just click on the link in the description and download the OneFootball app now for free. Thanks OneFootball and now let's jump into a new video together. And so guys, I wanted to start this uh, daily video today with the situation of Tottenham because many Tottenham fans keep asking on the manager situation. Uh, while I'm recording this video, Antonio Conte is still waiting for Tottenham to communicate their final decision on the situation. We know that the feeling around uh, Tottenham, the board, the directors, is for Daniel Levy to have, as always, the final say and to decide to part ways with Antonio Conte. This is the feeling uh, since Monday, but also important to mention that it's still to be communicated to the Italian coach. So this is a crucial step of the process, of course. What's important to mention is that for Tottenham, there are many options, not just one. We had many names in the last hours. We know that Mason could be an option until the end of the season uh, as interim manager and then to restart the project in the summer in case Tottenham can't find a manager right now. But again, let's see what happens with the Antonio Conte situation because there is still no final communication to the Italian coach. Also important to mention something on Glasner. Many of you asking me about Glasner, I already told you that Mauricio Pochettino wants to return to training as soon as possible. Uh, also, uh, same for um, Luis Enrique, he wants to be back at coaching as soon as as possible. So these two coaches are waiting to understand what kind of project there will be uh, around Europe, not just at Tottenham, but also other possibilities, especially for Pochettino. This is a situation to watch because from what I understand, he has also some other possibility, not just Tottenham. So it's important to see what kind of process there will be. But I wanted to clarify on Glasner that from what I understand at the moment for uh, the immediate situation, March, April, there is no way. So Glasner is not uh, leaving uh, Eintracht during the season. This is the feeling around the German coach. At the end of the season, he will explore the options also in the Premier League. But now for Tottenham, there are also other priorities. So at the moment, it's not something concrete or close for Tottenham. As I see many questions, I wanted to clarify that. I also wanted to clarify something on the situation of Gavi because we know that his new contract already signed with Barcelona has not been registered uh, with La Liga creating some issues in this process for Barcelona so I saw many rumors and many Barca fans worried but also many English friends uh, and the English followers dreaming of Gavi for their clubs maybe on a free transfer in the summer guys what I can tell you is that speaking to Barcelona sources they feel really relaxed on this story uh, on Gavi they feel that at the end they will be able to uh, complete and register everything that the contracts with Gavi are already signed so they feel protected on that side they feel that they are not going to lose the player on a free they feel that Gavi wants to continue to Barcelona also because he's a crucial player for Xavi he's always playing uh, and so this is the feeling on the Barca side. Of course, we wait for the process to be completed with La Liga, but Barcelona are really quiet and not worried with Gavi, also because he signed that deal. And so it means that the player wanted and wants to stay. This is Barcelona position. And then, guys, Jude Bellingham. Speaking about top talents, top midfielders, Bellingham is more than a talent. He's a fantastic top player. But guys, many Liverpool fans are asking me, is the race over now for Liverpool? From what I understand, guys, nothing is over because Jude Bellingham has not communicated his decision to any club. So Bellingham or his father Mark, who is taking care of the negotiation, have not called Liverpool or any other club to tell them it's over. I have decided. Uh, Jude Bellingham is keeping all the options open. Of course, for Liverpool, it's not easy in case they will not have Champions League football next season. Also important to mention the situation of the owners is not making things easy for Liverpool in terms of project future proposal. But what is also important to say is that Jurgen Klopp will try until the end for Jude Bellingham. He already wanted him last year and he's still fighting for this deal. So 
Let's see if Liverpool will be able to do that. But at the moment, they have no intention to give up. Of course, they know it's difficult. Why is difficult? Because Real Madrid are pushing as crazy on this deal with Juni Calafat involved and with all the people into the board working on Jude Bellingham because they consider Jude Bellingham a fantastic player for present and future of Real Madrid. So Real Madrid are really, really pushing on player side and they have an excellent relationship with Borussia Dortmundsio, Basque. This is why Real Madrid are really pushing. Man City are still in the race. Man City have no intention to give up. And so also Man City are working on deal, are speaking to people uh, close to Bellingham and of course to his father. So everything is open, but the race is not over yet. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on Jude Bellingham. Where do you think he will end up? Let me know in the comments. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell. As always, guys, I wait for your comments always on uh, Gavi and also on the other situations on the transfer market like Tottenham. Who is the best coach for them? I wait for your comment here. See you soon with Fabrizio Romano. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Ciao.